Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray you're having a blessed day in the Lord. I want to share something that the Lord had put in my spirit today as I just began to reach out to Him. The Lord began to remind me, in this life we face giants. And I began to think about Goliath, how in the natural he was a giant, but in the spirit he was a giant as well. And the battle that we're in today, it's spiritual. Jesus said, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but it's powers, principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. When people use power and authority to kill, to riot, you know, we see it uh, in our government and things like that. Wickedness in high places. You know, and I begin to think about spiritual principalities, ruling demons, darkness. And I begin to think about, praise God, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but powers and principalities. Satan's domain is the earth because he has the power and the principality of the air. And all that is in the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Praise God. And I begin to think about these things that come against our mind. Uh, it's mind battles and, and pressure and oppression. Praise God. It's stress on a whole new level. And I begin to think about how these things come against us to bear uh, down against our mind and to trouble us, to cause us to live in defeat and turmoil turmoil to cause us to fear fear is false evidence appearing real and it's a strong spirit in the land but the word of god teaches us for god has not given us a spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind praise god he didn't save us heal us deliver us praise god for us to live in defeat but we have a victory in jesus come on somebody and i begin to think about God began to show me in the spirit the weapons of our warfare they're not carnal but they're mighty through the pulling down of the strongholds and, and we're going to face giants in this life he said uh, praise God I overcome the world but the world will hate you because of me and he said to be a friend of the world is the enemy to him hallelujah but he said to be not troubled I overcome the world come on somebody and we're going to face giants and I begin to think about the Lord I just begin to pray and the Lord began to roll over in my spirit he said you know he sent Moses sent out the spies in the land to spy out the land and they 12 of them came back and they came back with the report hallelujah and uh, I began to think about how most of them said uh, there's no way we'll be defeated we're like grasshoppers compared to, to the they're giants and we're like grasshoppers compared to them but they weren't really just human they were Nephilims they were giants come on somebody Goliath was not just a human he was a Nephilim a fallen angel come on somebody hallelujah but the land was full of fallen angels but the word of God says that Joshua and Caleb, um, Caleb was of a different breed and he had a different spirit. And he said, we're more than able to take the land. Joshua had faith in God. Hallelujah. And the mantle was passed down from Moses to Joshua, that next generation. And he led them, uh, praise God, into that promised land. But he said, though we face giants and we're the size of grasshoppers compared to them and we're outnumbered. And not only are we outnumbered, hallelujah, but the giant seems so high. The mountain seems so high. The valley, it seems so wide. Oh, hallelujah. But Jesus just give up and let Jesus take over. It's not about you. It's about him. That's what David said. Hallelujah. He said, the battle's not mine. It's the Lord's. He's going to show Israel that I'm their God. I'm their king. I'm their deliverer. And he's going to show the Philistines that I am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. And he began to demonstrate his power and his anointing and his authority. And he's going to do it again throughout all the earth and throughout this realm. He's, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And Satan will bow one day and he will confess out of his mouth, Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. He's a defeated devil. He's been defeated from the beginning. If God be for us, who could be against us you may be facing a giant today hallelujah but the battle's not yours it's the lord's and the lord went into that city and he gave them victory hallelujah and he drove every one of them out because he's never backed down from a devil he took the keys to hell death and the grave and he's a way maker hallelujah how many of you believe it 
If you believe it, you can receive it. Hallelujah. You know, I begin to think about how uh, time and time again, you know, he moved for the uh, Jehoshaphat. And there was a messenger that came and said, there's a great army. Hallelujah. Numbered as much as the sand on the seashore. They're going to come against you. But uh, he set his heart on the Lord. And he set his heart to worship the Lord and to praise the Lord. And he began to fast. And the, all the land began to fast and cry out to God. And there was a... a, a the a prophet began to speak to him and God gave him a word. Hallelujah. And he said, fear not, be not dismayed for I am with you. He said, you don't even have to fight. The battle's not yours for it's mine. Hallelujah. And the Lord went in and he gave him the victory. He gave him the spool of the enemy. And so much, the Bible says it took two or three days for them to carry the spool out of the camp. Hallelujah. Not only does he want to give you victory, he'll give you the spool of the enemy. The New Testament says, hallelujah, to go in and bind the strong man and take the spool of the enemy. The Lord not only wants to give us the victory over the enemy and over the giants. Come on, somebody. But he wants to give us the spool. He's that kind of God. He's that kind of God. God. Hallelujah. He's never lost a fight. Give it to the one who's got the record of getting things done. I'm telling you, I feel the anointing. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel victory. The Lord spoke to me and he said, hallelujah, we're more than able. Hallelujah, we're more than able. And he reminded me how they were facing giants all around. Hallelujah. But they put their faith in him and they said he's more than able. God bless you all.